Hey guys, David Chuarona here with Luma AI, and today I'm gonna talk about Ray 3 Modify, huge update here, and our newest set of video to video and character reference features in Dream Machine that let you transform any input video with a much higher level of control and give you a lot of different ways to change or to preserve a character across the shot. And Ray 3 Modify brings a whole other level of character reference capabilities to workflows and features across a few different modes in Dream Machine. Modify mode, keyframes, and reference. All offering a lot more deep control over scene and shot progression with character continuity at the core. Okay, let's start with input video plus character reference. And this is meant for you to replace the character in your input video with the character in your reference image. Everything else in the video remains untouched and your character reference will automatically adapt to the visual or the artistic style and the lighting of your input video. This is done with a couple different steps. So number one, we go into modify mode and we upload our input video maximum 10 seconds and we upload our character reference. As you can see here in Ray 2 Modify, we only had the ability to upload an input video and to modify the first frame. Now in Ray 3 Modify, we have the addition of an end frame and a character reference card. Now we can just upload our input video upload a character reference, adjust our strength, and submit for generation. Okay, now let's check out the next and highest level of control with Ray 3 Modify, which is input video plus keyframes plus character reference. And this is gonna enable us to upload an input video, modify the star and or the end frame, and then upload a character reference image to control the character through the shot. So. First, let's start by uploading our driving video. Next, we're gonna upload our character reference. Now we wanna modify our start frame and our end frame by clicking on the modify frame buttons here, which is gonna pull up the modify frame modal. And in this modal, you're gonna see a grayed out image of the character reference you uploaded with an empty checkbox. You wanna tick that checkbox in order to lock that character in and make edits to your keyframe with that character. So now you wanna lock in your prompt and a big tip here is image one can refer to your character reference image and image two can refer to your target keyframe image. And for context, my prompt here is change the character in image two with the cat in image one, make the background the living room from image one and make the cat in the same exact pose as the character in image two. Now I'll hit submit in order to create my new keyframe. Once you're done editing your start and end frames, you're back at your composer window. Now just adjust your strength and submit for creation. After a couple tweaks to my modified strength selection, I'm getting some good results with Flex 1. Okay, now we're gonna check out keyframes plus character reference. So now we can add a character reference alongside our start and or end frames and with our written instructions, we're gonna reveal the character even if that character was not present in either keyframe. So what I'll do here first is I'll go from modify mode into keyframe mode. Now you can see we've added this character reference card and now I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my start frame. Then I'll drag in my character reference. And as you can see here in my start frame, I want to open up that visor of that helmet to then reveal that character. Now I'm just gonna type in my prompt, which is going to be the helmet opens up to reveal the man in image one. And I'm just gonna hit submit to create. After a few attempts and going through a couple different versions, I landed on this one as my favorite, using my prompt exactly how I want it and revealing my character reference in the middle of the shot. Now let's look at the last addition to the Ray 3 Modify update, and that's reference video mode plus character reference plus your written instructions. So we're gonna go from keyframes over to reference mode, and now you can see that the videos tab has been, has been unlocked. When we click there, you're now gonna have a character reference card opened up. We're gonna just bring in our character reference in there, and now we're gonna describe our scene with text to video. 
drop your prompt in here. In this case, my prompt is create a mundane video of this alien sitting at his computer in his cubicle, wearing a cheap suit, pouring himself a whiskey, shallow depth of field, and natural lighting. Now we submit to generate. After some really fun iterations, I'm landing on some great creations here uh, using the 1080p resolution setting. Try that yourself. You're going to see really high fidelity creations using that setting. And that's it guys, Wraith Remodify in a nutshell, bringing a whole new level of character reference capabilities to different workflows and different processes across modify mode, keyframes mode, and reference mode for much deeper control over that scene and the shot progression using true character continuity throughout the whole process. Thanks guys, see you again next time.